What's going on there, folks? Good Sunday evening. It is the Earth Master here on the live stream with an update video. About 7.30 p.m. California time here on this May 8th, 2022 date. Once again, it is Sunday. Latest quake out there on the globe shows some movement once again into the area just south here of the Philippine Plate. Showing quite a bit of activity there. We did see a 6.1 originally come in there. Looks like it did get downgraded to a five pointer um, in that area from the USGS. So let's go ahead and look at the latest activity here on the globe. And we'll go ahead and zoom in here to the region of the uh, Maluka Sea area. Looks like it got a major downgrade from a 6.1 to a 5.5. This earthquake occurring uh, somewhat deep as well. Uh, Maluka Sea down here to the south, a little distance. Of course, this area has seen quite a bit of swarming up here along the Philippine Trench area over the last couple weeks here. So uh, quite the dynamic pressure here along this region. Uh, that 5.5 occurring at about 56 kilometers below the surface. Since then, no further subsequent earthquake activity. And this movement up here to the north uh, with some prior activity, but we've kind of been noticing an unzipping pattern here along the Philippine Trench with southward movement pressure uh, along the area, uh, kind of stretching towards the Indo Indonesia area and the Banda Sea region. So we've got to watch this region pretty closely here uh, for some possible large-scale movement uh, following the activity we've been observing over the last couple weeks. Uh, did have an earthquake coming in to the uh, big island of Hawaii. A 3.4 earthquake on the southeastern part. Uh, this one occurring at about 31 kilometers below the surface there. This area has been relatively quiet in terms of uh, typical background activity. Uh, looks like we may be ramping up here following that 3.4. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Lohi Seamount offshore, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of movement. Just one earthquake stretching out there, 1.8. Uh, a little bit of activity up here around Mauna Loa. Mount Aloha, right outside of the uh, crater area. All other areas around the Big Island look pretty, uh, look pretty stable for now. Uh, so what do we got going on here up around the Tokyo area? Uh, north of Tokyo, Japan Trench of 4.4. No further activity along the Kurokam Chaka Trench. Uh, just looking at that activity here along the Philippine Plate there. Uh, in terms of dynamic pressure and the potential for a larger scale earthquake in that area. Uh, Fiji Islands has gone quiet, at least in this area along the deeper regions that we normally look for. Tonga Trench and the Kermadec Trench all showing no activity uh, above the 4.0 threshold. Uh, way up here around the uh, Jan Mayen area, around the Norway area, looks like uh, quite a few fives and some fours kicking off here. This area is pretty much a... Uh, a spreading area in the ocean floor kind of drifting apart here north of Iceland uh, a lot of volcanic features up here through the area as well around the island here nothing specifically in this area but just to the south and to the or well, actually to the west southwest here is where we're observing that uh, little swarm of activity kicking up here and again just off the coast of Greenland in the Jan Mayen area north of Iceland a uh, little activity picking up here in the South Atlantic Ocean. So we're starting to notice here not only in the north, but down here in the south, a little seafloor uh, drifting apart. Starting to notice that here on, the, on a broad scale, obviously from the north to the south area. 4.7 down here in the South Atlantic Ocean along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Seeing that uh, earthquake activity earlier today. Nothing yet still on the South Sandwich Islands area, but I expect here with the further... Um, uh, plate separation up here in the north and the south to see activity kind of ramp up here uh, pretty soon along the uh, South Sandwich Islands area. Right now nothing showing up there on the map. Uh, we did see some activity here around the Greece and the Athens area. A couple fours kicking off there over the last 24 hours but no major movement uh, to report in that area. Uh, the Puerto Rico area and the U.S. Virgin Islands region did see that 5.5 early, earlier today. Since then, uh, a little bit of swarming kicking up here around the southwestern portion of Puerto Rico. A couple twos kicking off there in that region. No subsequent 
uh, movement up here around the Puerto Rico Trench for now. And uh, about the same here in South America. A couple fours in this area of the uh, Peru Chile Trench. Uh, looking at the states here, we'll go ahead and zoom in here to the region. Still somewhat, man, it's just, it can't stay quiet forever, right? Uh, obviously quiet is good in temporary terms, but it also means that uh, we're looking at some building up of pressure somewhere. And the Pacific Northwest has gone uh, pretty quiet. Oregon, Northern California as well, not a whole lot to report throughout the region. Cobb Mountain area, that's a uh, very ongoing issue there with the Calpine uh, activities. Uh, Long Valley Super Volcano, eastern part of Sierra Nevada. There's not a whole lot going on, guys. A couple small microquakes. Even the Ridgecrest area, only five earthquakes here. Measly five earthquakes to report around the Ridgecrest region there, north of the Garlock Fault structure, which is pretty quiet as well. The southern part of the state, Pacific side of the plate boundary, about the same, folks. Look at this. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. 15 earthquakes along a major plate boundary and they're all microquakes nothing to report above the 2.5 i mean that's just odd very odd uh, in terms of quietness going on there in the uh, southern california and uh, for the most part west coast region uh, i do want to check out the trimmer map here tonight see what we got reported and there's nothing being reported from the pnn sn pnsn network here uh, while we're on it, let's go ahead and check out the Mount St. Helens report. See if we got any more swarming kicking off here uh, in the region of this volcano. This here is going to be the pre, well not pre-recorded, but recorded live data. And over the last couple of hours, a couple of microquakes uh, kicking off here in the region. You can see the blue, black, and the red spikes on the map indicative of some very small earthquake activity and uh, looks like throughout the morning as well a little, couple little spikes and some other little uh, small earthquakes being reported but uh, no major significant swarming or changes to report there at Mount St. Helens. Uh, back to the map here go ahead and check out the further inland parts of the states look at that pretty quiet across the Rocky Mountains and into the Montana and Wyoming area but we do want to check out Yellowstone right because we had observed uh, at least earlier uh, this afternoon a little swarm I, I'm, I'm not even gonna call that a swarm just a couple earthquakes here on the map that did kick up and of course USGS not reporting them yet as far as any subsequent uh, subsequent earthquake activity it's not there we're not looking at any further swarming uh, no magma mo movement and no ground rising here at Yellowstone National Park. Everything's pretty uh, stable currently at the region there. Oklahoma though, kind of be kind of lighten up, right? You see Oklahoma light up more than uh, Yellowstone and the uh, the Rocky Mountain area. Kind of wonder what's going on, right? We're looking at uh, some further increase in pressure up here along the uh, gas and oil fields. Obviously there's quite a bit of them out there doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that uh, on any satellite map or listed up here in the uh, on the Google map just outside of Medford one movement uh, one earthquake down here looks like um, in the Marshall area the depth of that earthquake definitely looks like it is um, consistent with the operations that go on through the pumping and the um, the injection well operations is definitely within about uh, a thousand feet or so got one right here and a couple of them actually around the region so uh, no doubt uh, related no specific fault systems out there uh, unless these uh, unless they're hidden underground and these uh, operations are, are uh, kind of activating them but I think that's just due to the operations themselves uh, getting a swarm of quakes outside of Quinton Oklahoma and these earthquakes are relatively shallow and now i know there is some fault systems that run through here in the mountains uh what is that san boise uh boise boys mountains uh, okay go ahead and correct me if you wish uh outside of the area i want to check the satellite view and uh, see what we got going on although if you look folks there's definitely a bunch 
of uh, uh, operations out here as well, just to the south uh, by a couple thousand feet and all lined up here, it looks like, alongside the road. Uh, some of these may be farmhouses, uh, but a lot of them have these uh, the same look to them. And uh, it kind of looks like what we're seeing out there uh, throughout the land far as the uh, drilling and the oil rigs and whatnot in that area of Oklahoma. New Madrid zone to the east, pretty quiet for now. Eastern seaboard and the eastern part of the coast, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on. Into the Alaska region, uh, looking at a trail of activity throughout Anchorage, Fairbanks, Denali area southward, but no major movement to take note of there in the Alaska, uh, beautiful state of Alaska. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, let's see what else we got. Earthquakes Canada on the map. Got uh, nada, nada. Just this earthquake here from a couple days ago now. Five point, or not 5.6, but uh, back on the 6th of May. 1.3 at 13.3 kilometers. That was the last recorded earthquake up there in the uh, our neighbors to the north. Solar weather activity is kind of ramping up, and this is from a newly named sunspot, 3007. It's going to be this one right here that kind of produces an upper sea flare. Uh, 3006 does not have the typical dynamic activity that we're looking for in terms of producing a solar flare. Looks like they have adjusted their uh, predictions or threat uh, accordingly. Kind of mentioned that this morning, so maybe they're uh, starting to take note as well that the uh, X flare potential definitely not there. M flare possibly, maybe from uh, the uh, far side sunspot here, 3007 on the southeastern limb it looks like. There's also some uh, n a couple other developments here uh, that are going to be coming into view. You can kind of see a glimpse of it right here, but uh, this one right here has got some major loops there in the uh, magnetic fields. I still think we got a good possibility of uh, possibly seeing these things blast off uh, in the coming days. So we'll see what happens. Uh, geomagnetic forecast has remained calm and clear uh, for the past week and it looks like that will continue here for the next few days unless something major uh, pops off this way. Um, aside from that, uh, the elevated flare threat, uh, like I said, there's that C. Well, the last one we had was a C 2.5. This one here was a C 8.2. Uh, so looking at a little bit of further uh, crackling and poplin, popling, <laughs> popping there on the sun. Um, but like I say, it's not uh, not super active, but we're not completely dead yet in terms of the solar weather activity. So uh, we'll watch that for sure in the uh, coming days. Nothing going on here on the, the National Data Buoy Center. Not for sure what uh, what the uh, what that's all about. As far as the green box here, kind of a uh, little odd. Uh, nothing really in event mode and uh, no further activity really to note here at any of these buoy stations. Uh, let's see what else we got. Is there anything else to cover, folks? I think that's about it. Just kind of uh, uh, kind of watching the activity. The calm before the storm typically happens during these uh, during these times. Kilauea and Mauna Loa still at uh, their respected levels there on the current alerts. Aside from that, really nothing to take note of or to report from the Big Island. So. For now, I'm going to sign off, folks. I uh, hope everyone enjoys their evening. Please stay safe out there. And the latest quake shows a 2.8 continuing in this area of the uh, southern part of the Philippine Plate. Just got to watch, uh, got to watch it, see what's going on out here. I mean, we can look at swarms and whatnot and kind of take note of them, but uh, got to watch the quiet areas as well because they can kind of sneak up and uh, pop off a pretty large quake uh, when they do remain quiet. Uh, in times like this. So. Alright guys, have a good night. Stay safe. We will chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out.